Nothing ever felt as good Or as easy As we were young oh, We are in the Lake District oh, I am so happy So there's two reasons why I'm this excited Reason number one This is where I'm from I'm a Cumbrian I'm from the Lake District and I was born and bred here um, So wonderful childhood memories and it feels really nostalgic to be back here which for me is an incredible thing so ah, yeah, I suppose I'm emotionally attached to the place so that's good always good reason number two since I have started doing these videos and more importantly since I've started watching landscape photography vlogs um, I think the Lake District has become a little bit of a holy grail for landscape photography vloggers which is obviously a wonderful thing so uh, I mean, you can see why you can see why people want to come here with the cameras. It's a beautiful place. Oh, look at it! Gorgeous. So yeah, it's really nice for me to come here and to do a couple of my own vlogs as well. So I'm excited for that. Now, this is Lake Ullswater. For any of you that don't know the area, uh, I'm staying at a youth hostel, which is back that way um, at the sort of south end of the lake itself, which is obviously really handy. And I've got here a little bit earlier. It's about seven o'clock in the evening, so about an hour until the sunset. Um, so I've kind of rushed out down to the lake shore. It's took me about half an hour to get here. I've literally just been following my OS maps down this eastern side of Ullswater. Um, yeah, just going to see if I can get a nice sunset shot. Really liking these little... Um, Islands, islets, rock formations, whatever. I think the big prominent one there off in the distance might be called Norfolk Island. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought these might be really good subjects to use. And then this way here is going to be um, facing west if we do get a sunset. So yeah, a um, bit unplanned. Massively excited. Definitely too warm for the hat, but I mean, it's on now. You can't get it off once it's on, you know. And I'm babbling because I'm anxious for the sunset. So, um, I'm going to head down there towards them rocks <sighs> see if we can get any composition. So that was just a shower, fortunately, completely normal here in the lakes. All these sort of stormy looking clouds you can see behind me have sort of passed over and behind you guys now. It's starting to clear up a little bit, it's looking nice. We might even get a sunset. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but it's a maybe, it's a possibility. And I've found this incredible spot here. It wasn't even a public footpath to get down here to this peninsula that I'm on. It was actually incredibly dodgy. I had to sort of scramble down a little bit of a cliff and there was sort of loose rock everywhere so yeah a bit dodgy but I found it by using my OS maps and flying my drone around so those two things coupled together sometimes very handy now what really caught my eye was not this location but this peninsula out here that you can see behind me with the trees on it there and the giant sort of boulder in the middle and this spot here was just a good vantage point to be able to potentially get a good photograph of that but yeah incredible I want this to be my foreground and then the background there we've got all those hills and fells and then if we get a nice sky above that, it could be on for a winning image. Um, so what I'm going to do, there's one or two things about this composition that I'm, I'm not too sure on, I don't like. I don't know if they're going to change, but I'm going to figure it out. So I'm going to wander around here for a little bit, get myself set up when I'm happy with my composition, and then I'll talk you guys through it, as always. Firing off a shot. 
Now I had to act quickly, I had to get set up really quickly because we had a little bit of pink in those high clouds through all these grey clouds and basically the sun's setting over here behind all this grey cloud so there's not going to be a sunset and I think what is happening now is the best that we're going to get this evening so that is why I had to act quickly. Now uh, I'm not completely happy with this, this composition and I don't I don't know why. I think sometimes as landscape photographers, I hope that people can relate with me in this one. Sometimes you set up, you're really excited, and then once you start looking through your viewfinder or on your LCD screen, at your composition, you, you don't like it, but you don't know why. And this is one of them instances. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I can change. Um, I don't know. I think it's the fact that I know there's so much potential here and we're not getting incredible light, which is probably a bad way of thinking, but I don't know. Well, I'll talk you through what I'm doing here anyway. Um, F11 ISO 100 and I'm going to do a long exposure. I've got my 10 stop ND on the front shooting at about 25 millimeters. Um, so I'm going to get an exposure time of around about six minutes. Um, so yeah, it's going to be nice with the long exposure effect. I know that for sure at this stage, but compositionally, I'm not sure. I've gone for a little bit of the lake in the bottom third, then that peninsula there with the trees and the rock in the sort of mid ground. And then you've got the beautiful layers because you've got them hills off there in the background as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know what it is I don't like. But I suppose I'll wait and see how it turns out first, eh? instead of slagging it already. I don't know. Um, I hope you guys like this image. Did you like it? Ugh. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm still not sure, I need to see it on my laptop. I don't know, I don't know. Right, that's it for the evening. And uh, I'm gonna go back, get some food, get a nice sleep, and I shall see you guys for the sunrise. Good morning, and welcome to Ulls Water. Gorgeous, the Lake District's second largest lake. Absolutely amazing. Um, it's a bank holiday weekend, Saturday morning, there's no one out. And I'm just off the main road, which is weird. I was expecting this to be at least another photographer here, maybe, I don't know. It's good. It's nice and still. So, plans for the morning. I, I was going to do a bit more of an adventurous hike, to be honest, but then after doing a bit of research, I felt this location was perfect. Like I say, I'm just off the main road. And if you look down there, you've got some beautiful layered mountains, and what we're going to get is the sunrise right down the throat of Allswater down there, which is just incredible. So I figured this location would be pretty much perfect if the sunrise plays ball. And uh, it's not looking, we're about 30 minutes till the sunrise. <clears throat> it's quite a thick, um, thick blanket of gray cloud off there in the distance, exactly where the sun's gonna be rising. So yeah, don't really know what to expect at the minute, but we'll see. Um, might be a case of having to wait for the sun to come up and over that layer of cloud and then we get the, the golden hour then at least. I don't know. But for now, I am going to just basically wander up and down this gorgeous lake shore here and just see if I can find any foreground interest. Um, I fancy, you know, some rocks in the foreground, maybe a bit of a long exposure again. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for now. How's this stick? I have scavenged myself some foreground interest and I'm proud of it. And I'm gonna use this um, as a leading line. Is that wrong? Is that weird? I don't know. This is still part of the landscape. I'm just moving it a little bit. I'm probably gonna do it. I'm probably gonna use it, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna put this on the lake shore somewhere and use it as a leading line. I'm gonna set my composition up now. That sounds weird. So we got a pretty nice sunrise. Um, it's definitely worth getting out of bed for. So that, that's, that's very, very good. This is it's amazing to be here. This is such a beautiful morning. I think I'm gonna get a nice photograph as well. So put my stick here in the foreground, as you can see, as you'd expect, nice leading line, little rock there next to it. And I've taken two exposures. Um, I'll tell you two of my setup here first. I've got my polarizer on, first and foremost, which is getting rid of all this glare. Only in the foreground, it's not getting rid of any of the glare in the sort of middle of the lake. 
which is actually working quite well because we're getting some nice orangey reflections there. But yeah, it's nice to cut through the water here in the foreground and capture some of the rocks and pebbles there underneath. Secondly, I've got my six stop ND filter on, which is obviously giving me a long exposure effect, but I'm taking two separate images, two separate exposures, one for the sky and then one for the, the, uh, the lake and the mountains there in the midground. So for the sky, I shot at F9 around about 25 seconds. And then for the foreground, for the lake and the mountains, it was F16 and the exposure time was around about one minute and 20 seconds. You can see really big different difference in the exposure times there. But for the foreground, it's allowing me to smooth out that lake completely. We've got a little bit of movement in it, but it's giving the, it's giving the image like a really nice sort of, uh, sorry, it's giving the lake a really nice sort of silver look to it. It looks almost like a mirror, which is incredible. So yeah, nice sunrise shot, I think. Here it is. Did you like that one? I hope you liked it. I think it might be all right. Might be all right. Thank you very much for watching this week. And from the incredible Ullswater, I bid you farewell. <laughs> I'm going to um, I'm going to do a hike here this evening. So that'll be next week's video big hike that I'm looking forward to. It's one that I've wanted to do for ages. Um, so I hope to see you there next week. Thanks for the support. Cheers for watching and hopefully see you guys next week on the next adventure. From this gorgeous location, out.